how do we experience this self that mm -hmm. we we say we have which is the best way to start yeah so we start with the body mm -hmm. uh hopefully you have a body i have a body <laughs> you have a body Every, everyone gets a body <laughs> everyone <laughs> <laughs> we all get one yay uh, when we're born <laughs> yeah i mean it, it's it's kind of what uh what defines life mm -hmm. for us right that uh, we are incarnated mm -hmm. and embodied in this in this incredible world and our bodies uh, al um, allow us to be in the world it's like a vessel for life yeah to be present and to experience the world because mm -hmm. it, through our bodies we uh we interact with the environment we can taste the five senses we can see the world we can enjoy it we can feel the pain and the joys of the world absolutely and the delicious food and that's right but i think most people especially people that uh, have done some kind of personal development understand that we're not our bodies mm -hmm. uh, we you know we definitely want to take care of it mm -hmm. and honor it and all that good stuff but we we understand it's there's more to us than mm -hmm. that, right so even in, in western psychology we know well there's the mind which we cannot perceive uh, with our senses but we, yeah we know is there we can't see the mind and we see our thoughts basically we can't see our thoughts uh but we know they're there right <laughs> i think therefore i am mm. um descartes kind of summed it up for the, the, you know the rest of western psychology in that in that formulation that if i'm thinking something i know i'm thinking it mm -hmm. i'm the one that's thinking it and so therefore i know i must be present and observing something mm -hmm. therefore i am mm -hmm. right like you can't say uh i don't think i exist because who is the one that's saying <laughs> i don't think i exist <laughs> yeah, exactly so we kind of Mm. The, the the problem resolves itself there mm. from mm -hmm. the, that western perspective 